All right, folks, looking across the country, it's a big plume of cold air from all the way to Canada, all the way down to the Gulf Coast, actually. So folks down even in like Corpus Christi to Houston, down even into Brownsville area, way far south in the southern tip of Texas. See these cold air advisories in place. Wind chill advisory in the blue all the way down to the Gulf Coast there into the Florida panhandle. Even a little wind chill warning in place down in far far south Texas, just about as far south as you can go. So it is area wide. Everybody's dealing with that big area of cold Arctic air swoop swooped on in. It looked like last Friday for us here and it's still here today, but it is gradually moving out. OK, we are going to get a little bit of a rebound in here for tomorrow and for Thursday. So good news there. Satellite radar here locally had the clouds yesterday, a little bit of snow yesterday, too. We're looking at sunshine for today. So great news there. Looking from a high V Lake of the Ozark camera, a little bit of steam coming off the lake still. It's been cold several days, but big body of water like this will take a lot to get this water to be frozen. I don't think we'll see any ice really develop over those lake tops anytime soon, but it is cold out there for sure. Three degrees below zero here in Springfield, eight degrees below in Clinton, four below in Monette. Feels like one in Mountain Home and it is negative one down in Harrison, Arkansas, several places recording zero wind chill. Again, it's cold around zero, if not just below zero, and it feels like 15 to some places close to 20 degrees below zero. A lot of the schools have canceled this morning because of these wind chills. Kids standing at the bus stop. It won't take more than 10, 15 minutes for those, especially those younger kids to really start to feel the effects of maybe some frostbite or even hypothermia in this extreme cold. Wagging walking outside. We have Echo today. Hang on to his ball for dear life. This is it by Jennifer down in Sparta, Missouri. A good day for a walk overall. Okay, it's gonna be sunny. Okay, so the sun will help a lot, but still cold again in the teens. So I cut the yellow paw out there in the morning hours, especially because it is cold, but green later on today. No hazards expected except for the extreme cold weather continuing for today. Look at a future cast still sunny outside today. Nothing really happening there. Tomorrow we turn things around. The good news arrives. We're still sunny Wednesday and temperatures climbing above freezing, probably in the upper 30s, maybe close to 40 in some areas on your Wednesday. That'll be like a heat wave. We get into Thursday. OK, we'll see a few clouds move in. Still nice in the upper 30s across Missouri. We're keeping an eye on this, though. There could be some ice down across northeastern Arkansas. And uh, some of this ice might get a little farther towards the north and west. So just something to keep an eye on as we go into Thursday. And then we're also keeping an eye on another Arctic blast moving in for Thursday night, giving us another chance of snow for Thursday there as well. Very light snow, but more cold air on the way. So enjoy Wednesday, enjoy Thursday, because it looks like by the time we get to Thursday night, that strong cold front comes on through and temperatures drop down to once again single digits Thursday night and the teens for your Friday again. Short lived though. Looks like we're back to the above freezing after that. Mid teens over for today, single digits tonight, upper 30s near 40 for tomorrow. Much better there. Good on Thursday. Chance of snow Thursday night. Then, yeah, brief Arctic return Friday and Saturday. And then we're back warming again next week. Guys. All right, Tom, thanks.